Even though, nope, nope, you keep going, son. I want you up here. I want to see the magical reaction of the hooded brat. Okay, so he wasn't here last night. No, he's never been. Okay. He's never even seen this that we're on right now, except for maybe at Halloween at night when we're doing a treat trail. Yeah. Well, now it's not just a dead end. Wristbands, everybody, wristbands. I know. It's so weird. That's what I was I was commenting on that last night in the live stream that it feels weird being here. It's just GP, just general general public entrance, you know, just casually walking into Star Wars like just blows my mind. Yep. There's no reservation, no special event. You can just go to Galaxy's Edge, whatever you want. Do you, oh gosh. Do you hear that? I love these sounds. As a side note, really, I love how much these trees grew in. Yeah, they sure they, did, didn't they? Fairly quick, too. It's like, that was all very short and thin when it first was planted. And you could kind of hear up ahead the sounds. I love that. They're so good at that. Oh. <laughs> They're so good at revealing the land to you. Great sun, great sun. Bright suns. I imagine this is what Pandora sounds like. Different sounds, but similar vibe yeah. to, this, this, to this portion. Yeah. But that's the whole way. Right. The sounds of creatures in the background. Yeah. Now in Pandora, do you eat the creatures that you can hear? Because that's what we're going to do here. <laughs> I, I can't remember if like the food items have like animal, you know, space animal names or not. I need to break out my data pad. Yep. What do you think, son? Oh, Isn't it? Yeah. You want to go for a ride in that uh, X-wing? They let you fly it, you know. You just have to ask Chewbacca, which we'll probably run into here in a minute. I see Ray. Usually, where there's Ray, there's Chewie. Oh, it's the Ray that we saw. I know it is. It's our Ray. Yeah, exactly. The first one I ran to sounded more like gin, but it was very good. <laughs> I hope my vibe's here today. Let's say good morning to Ray. Maybe, oh no, she's, she's got somewhere to be, maybe. Where's she headed? Where's Chewy? He could, he could be in the town. Sometimes Where's Chewy? I don't see her. She's not here now. 
There's a creature in this thing. Oh, is it gonna happen? <laughs> Somebody who gets it. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep moving. It's a bustling little marketplace this morning. What time is it? Like 8:30? because it's already it's two hours right now which is good I mean, you know it's happening it's popular uh, but we're gonna try to hold out for a little bit we're gonna start off with a little breakfast at dock or a docking bay seven yeah it says two hours right now for standby and uh, hey good morning uh, and you can see the you can see the queue is forming deeply so let's go in here for some breakfast at docking bay seven which is one of my new favorite places to eat this place makes me happy. The whole land makes me happy, but Docking Bay 7 makes me happy. So let's look at this menu. Uh, I can't read because I'm blind. Okay, so there's a rising moon overnight oats. Rising moons overnight. Okay, so that's oatmeal? Yeah, it looks like it's oats. I see, is that French yogurt. toast? There's oatmeal and a breakfast plate. Oh, that's a breakfast plate and then a youngling breakfast. Okay. Yeah, so breakfast plate, oatmeal, or, or just the roll. Or, uh, Though that's normally almost more of a parfait. That's a parfait, yeah. Yeah. All right. Everybody loves a parfait, even in space. Yeah. Space parfait. Yeah, with layers. fresh baked out into the courtyard. We've never eaten out in a courtyard yet, but I very much like the way they have these things set up. The chairs are just little barrels that you can that you can move them around. I think it's awesome. You can be boop bop the door right here, be boop bop to open the door. Yeah. I think it's, ooh, they got a little music out here. Or, hey, we're gonna start our breakfast with noting that no, uh, no, no sporks. They're gone because people stole them and sold them on eBay. That's move juice. Yeah, which move I believe it said something about like chipotle and pineapple or something. What? Is that something about supposed to it's, happen on a spike? It's, it's probably like, 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 a, like a fruit punchy. Okay. It's fruit punchy, yeah. It's, it's sweet. I only got any the spice in it. All right. But it's really good. It's actually, I think, the most popular. This time. And it looks like, if I may, uh, I feel like this is prison food. It looks like prison food. <laughs> looks like a spacer's meal. To me. Space eggs. Those are space eggs, Ian. Yes. And what's that? A space Danish? I believe it's, <laughs> it's a Mustafari and lava roll, which also means a cinnamon roll type thing. Yeah, a sweet roll. Yeah. A or eggs, sausage, and potatoes. Right on. And onions. Yeah. Uh, and it looks like Junior got the same. Okay. We'll grab the pork. What is that you're eating right there? Is that a potato? I think so. Yep. Purple. Does it taste purple? Okay. I need I need to know what uh, what space sausage is like. I might have to eat some of that. I think it's the same as it's in the Wonto wrap. Is it? I think it's the same kind of pork sausage. Because it tastes like the Wonto wrap. Yeah. Good? Okay. What about space eggs? I like eggs. I don't blame you. I'm not a big egg fan myself. I had a bite of mine. Yeah, is it good? Is it's good. It... it needs salt and pepper. There... Is... Do they have salt and pepper in space? There's probably a little condiment thing that has it. The table that has it. All right. Then the space egg. Try the space egg. Yeah. I just... It's like a. It's like eating a, a plant. Mm. See, I love eggs. Yeah. 
warm, I'll eat it. Yeah. Did that just get all over my camera? I love his music. I, I never noticed how much this feels like I'm in Pandora right now. Which finds you've not been there. I know, but I, but this is, I would imagine this is the kind of stuff that you would hear when you're eating. I I think they have like a I can't remember because I didn't end up eating at the place there, so we didn't have time. Yeah. We didn't, so I, I no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the roll. Oh yeah, okay, go for it. Ian's gonna try the space the space uh, Danish. Yeah, it's like a sweet cinnamon roll with. I don't know what sort of sauce. That's a fruit sauce. Really good Oreo. Crumbs. Um, yeah, an Oreo crumble. That's an Oreo. Really, it's an Oreo crumble. It's a vegetable. Oh yeah, that's I'm definitely a bit of an Oreo. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Just like What's a little. What's that? <laughs> what is this? I was like, it's a vegetable. My big mushroom family. He's like, wow. You know, in space, uh, you can you can not only can you play with your food in space, but the, sometimes the food plays with you because it's space food. Looks like it's Oreo crumbles on top. Yes. Some sort of like, yeah, sure, fruit syrup sauce. Otherwise, it's, it's a simple. Is it dry? Oh, he's going roll? for it. No, it's pretty Space moist. Dinner. Pretty moist. Pretty moist as far as cinnamon rolls go. I like it. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty moist. 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 It's a shallot, right? I think so. The little bulbous looking things. There's little bits of carrot. I don't think it's... No, it's red pepper, baby. Yeah. Is that a pepper? Mm -hmm. Like, like, pepper. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, uh, there's a little mushroom. Can we find a mushroom thingy? Oh, there's one right there. I think that's the one that just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my baby. Uh, it's... I mean, I, I like the way that they're preparing a lot of different, uh... Same thing with the pot roast we had last night. It's not just pot roast. It's pot roast and like 12 other little ingredients that they mix together really well. All their dinner stuff has really impressive yeah. except that one salad. Right. Well, and then, but and you, I didn't enjoy the meatloaf. The uh, I meatless love the meatloaf. meatloaf. If you guys are vegan lovers, it didn't taste like so, oh, it meatloaf. Like meatloaf. It's, you no. And the mashed potatoes did not taste oh, like I mashed, love potatoes. mashed potatoes. What? Because they put something in it that I just I like Your plain mashed potatoes. Really with, the, uh, with the vegan loaf. Yeah. So I, I believe the loaf uses Beyond, and then the lunch item uses Impossible. I did not see. There's no ketchup in space. I would, you just have to ask for it. We did. They didn't have any. Have it. Really? Don't have ketchup here. Yeah. We're what like, do you have this thing that's called ketchup? Space I'm ketchup, not, yeah. I'm not too. <laughs> I don't think so. Because with the vegan loaf, that would be... Where, where the nice. napkins are in the West No, like just napkins. The only thing they pepper. have in napkins is napkins. I salt and pepper. I didn't see salt and pepper. I didn't see salt and pepper either. I mean, there's not like right? they're not, they're putting salt on there in some it's other a ways. Plan, it could have a little the eggs pepper. could use. Like, it's just the eggs. Like, the, the potatoes, those are all. Oh, yeah, this is good flavor. Yeah, the red. It's just the eggs need a little more flavor. Yeah. But you know what? Then it's better for you. Guys. But otherwise, I don't know about this breakfast. Yeah. The sausage yeah. is good. The roll is good. The moose, moose juice, juice is good. good. I like yeah, the moose, moose juice. juice. It's really good. Uh, the space water is. Um, they have great water here, actually. It's good space water. Stormtroopers 24 7 here. This guy's getting interrogated. Oh, he just tried. He thinks he's a Jedi, this guy. Suspicious activity may result in your detention. Suspicious. Who's suspicious? I'm not. Go on. <laughs> Stormtroopers. Hold. We're tracking a unit of resistance spies traveling with a young master codebreaker about the age of this one. <laughs> 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 Chewy before we go? We need to find Chewy. Say it a little louder next time. It's like they're right there. 
we can mix it up a little bit. He, if he's around, if they're over here, he might be over by the, the resistance camp. Well, he doesn't come down this way. Yeah, he comes out this far sometimes. Does he? I've, I've seen I've seen video of him and Ray hanging out by the Falcon at night once. Really? I've always seen him go as far as the at the beginning of the market. It was very the day. They had a little droid race with guests. That I saw, yes. Yeah. So yeah. the point is that they never totally cross paths. No, not really. Though sometimes Chewie, Ray, or Vi might get near the troopers and ask them to help them sneak past. That's yeah, they are. Yeah. Now we're about to do something that I have been dreaming about since they started building Galaxy's Edge, and that is just coming to this land. Doing a thing, having breakfast like we just did, running into a few stormtroopers, and then leaving to go enjoy the rest of Disneyland. The idea that we can just come and visit Galaxy's Edge casually like this is a dream come true. I cannot believe how cool this is. We don't, it's not, I, I, I kind of dig that it's not a separate park, that it's not a third gate, because I can, I can do, I can have, I can have my Galaxy's Edge a la carte. And I, that to me, makes me super happy because we're leaving right now. We're heading out through the Frontierland entrance and into Disneyland proper because I don't know if you noticed, but it's not very crowded. We were just going to go book a fast pass for Hyperspace Mountain and then we realized it's like a walk -on. we don't have to. Yeah. It's a walk-on. All of Disneyland right now, the, the longest wait that I saw I'm granted it's 9:15. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, the longest wait I saw was 20 minutes for Big Thunder. Yeah, really. That's more. Yeah. They that's because that's people are on their way here, so that's not even the first thing they yep. see before they get here. They're probably yeah, they're probably doing a quick pit stop at Big Thunder, which makes sense. Big Thunder's amazing, uh, but Space Mount, every, Space Mount was five minutes. Everything in Tomorrowland is five minutes. Uh, I, there's no wait anywhere. Look at that. We just did it. Now, Ian, to our conversation that we were having a couple weeks ago about that feeling about how uh, sequestered you feel when you're in Galaxy's Edge, mm -hmm. I, uh, yesterday, it kind of, the more we go, the more I feel like it is part of Disneyland, and I, 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 I do, I feel less cut off than I used to, you know? That casual, being able to casually go in and out makes me feel like it's more Disneyland. Than that does help. It yeah. does still feel like because it's so cordoned off, it's not integrated into Disneyland, it's right. attached onto it. You, you, right, because when you're in when you're in Adventureland or Frontierland, you never forget that you're in Disneyland. No, but I think that's not a bad thing. Either. Right, right. No, I'm saying that that's, I like that. Yeah. I like that. And the fact that one land transitions smoothly from to another. That was one thing. I know it's it's both good and bad with the fact that it's so cut off. That yeah. you, do, you are on a separate, you're off world. But I also like knowing that I'm in Disneyland too. Yeah. Uh, and you always get that feeling when you're, when you're here, no matter where you are. It's a trade-off. But, uh, but the more that we're able to do this thing where we can just kind of jump in and jump out, it helps with that feeling that, and now we're back and I'm integrated already back into normal Disneyland feelings. Because yeah. the first time I ever left Galaxy's Edge and came down this path into Fantasyland, I hated it. I hated that feeling. It was a weird, Culture shock's not the right word. Right, no, but you're right. It is something like that. It's it's like, it's, uh, I don't know how to compare it. I mean. It was a hot sensation of, oh, I'm out. Yeah. Can I turn around? It's like going to the movies at daytime and then going, coming out and it's nighttime and you're like, it's a whole different thing that happened to you. Yeah, right. Wow. <laughs> right? We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh Baked!